I wanted to tell you a little bit about the Virtual Academy because I know our students who will be participating from home have a lot of questions. So I'm going to try to answer some of those questions in this video, but obviously um, you can email or call the school if you have further questions. Some of our students will be learning from home, but we just want them to know that they are still an important part of our school. They are still Chandler students, whether they're here in the building with us or not. And we're going to do everything we can to make sure that this is a positive experience for our students. Much of their learning will take place on an online platform, and that will be a little bit different than how um, NTI worked in the spring. When we went to NTI in the spring, we had very little notice, and we mostly focused on review um, and helping students practice the skills that they had learned that school year. As we move forward into the Virtual Academy this year, we will need to focus on learning new material and learning the grade level standards um, for your students. It's important that all of our virtual students have a device and internet access at home. We will not be providing paper packets. We can check out Chromebooks to our families and we can also help with internet access if that's an issue for your family. So contact us and we'll let you know what your options are. We're using Pathblazer as the program for our kindergarten through fifth grade students. That's our online learning platform. And we're using Summit Learning in our middle school. Both of those programs are new this year, and so we will be learning right along with our students. Each student in the Virtual Academy will be assigned an advisor. That advisor is responsible for providing technical assistance, making sure that students are on track, and with helping with goal setting. The advisor will be available some hours during the day, but also at times in late afternoons and evenings for students when they need help. Even though the students have an advisor, they will still have a homeroom teacher here at school, and in the middle school they'll have content teachers as well. And that teacher will supplement the online instruction with videos, um, Zoom meetings, and other things to help the students at home. We know that not all students will be able to log in at the same time every day, so anything that we do on Zoom will be recorded and students can watch it at a later time. We anticipate that most of our students will need to work 10 to 12 hours per week in order to stay on track. Um, and that would come out to be about two to three hours a day. We know that sometimes students wouldn't be able to work on a weekday, maybe they're sick or their internet goes out. So we're going to give students the weekends to finish up the work. So the work that was assigned on a Monday is due the following Monday, just in case your family needs to go somewhere on the weekend for internet access or just needs a little bit of extra time. If students need help, we'll have multiple options um, for them to be able to, to get help. We will have after school ESS as we always have, but we may also offer some ESS it's in the late afternoon or early evening for families where the parents may work. We're also going to have some Saturday sessions um, of ESS where students can come in if they're struggling and get some extra help. And we really just feel like if our students and our parents and our staff work together, we can make the online learning experience a successful one for our students. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me or give us a call here at the school. Thanks.